Hello everyone, Sheldon here today and I want to bring you an update on the sweet potato slips. Yes, remember I spoke about not planting the whole sweet potato the last time in the soil? Well, if you go back to that video, you'd see that I talked about taking off the slips and putting them in water for a bit. Now, forgive me, but in my excitement um, to trans plant the slips into water, I really, really, really forgot to show you how you take off the slips. Now, uh, yes, I'm at fault, but hey, what you gonna do? I'm excited. But anyway, I saved a few slips on this one here to show you how you take off the slips, okay? Uh, it's quite easy, it's quite simple. But I know you'd be asking, how do you do it? So I'm just showing you how you do it. And firstly, you want to look at how high the slips are. You don't want to do a slip that is too small, like this one here. You see this one? This one is too small, so I left it on that potato. I want slips that are tall, that are really, really excited to go into the water, excited to grow up, excited to go into the big pot, excited to show that, you know, they can bring 420 pounds of sweet potato for me. Yes, this is the slip. So I want to show you the slip, and I want you to be excited as me as you look at the slip. Okay, you grab a slip like that, uh, you just pinch it, and you put it in water, all right? Um, so as you can see from these glasses here, I've already put these in water, right? So I'll just put this one in here for now. And I wanted to also show you that I had done an experiment to see for myself how long it will take for roots to come. Now, can you see that root? Can you? That root is approximately, um, let's say, four days old, all right? So it took four days to actually get the root. So I want to express my gratitude for these slips, for being so resilient, for being so um, endearing, you know, and very adventurous. I really appreciate their growth, development, and maturity. And I know they are looking forward to go straight into that big pot. I know they're going to bring forth a lot of fruit. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me show you as well that the, the, the two types of potatoes, this one, the whitish one, and this one, the reddish one, they have two different kind of leaves. Look at this leaf. This is a more of a heart-shaped type leaf. Can you see that? Let me just get focus here. All right. More of a heart-shaped type leaf. And the other one, the whitish one, it sort of have a, a, a type of Canadian maple leaf kind of, you know, shape. You know what I mean? This almost looks like um, that ship from the X-Men that Magneto blew up at the end. But anyway, this is... The update I want to bring you on the slips growing very quickly. Uh, from the day I did that video to now, they have grown significantly. And the water, they just love the water. Let me, let me show you the roots again. You see that root system? They really, really love the water. So don't be afraid to try it in water. Don't be afraid to, to really experience experiment with what you have and how you're going to do your stuff. So this is the update. This is me showing you how you do all the slips in water. Uh, the next step from here, as they get more root on the slips, then I put them into the soil and then, you know, do what they have to do off the college and all of that. All right. So Sheldon here. And I always say, check us out on social media. Check us out, you know, wherever you are, and I really enjoy you staying tuned and looking forward to seeing more videos and more pictures and more updates. So this is Sheldon signing off. You celebrate life with greenery.